In the pilot episode, we see that uh, that Ben and Michaela are experiencing these mystifying uh, voices, at least initially uh, it manifests, forgive me, in the form of voices, uh, and, and, it, and it obviously, you know, leads them down a path uh, to, uh, to help people in, in, in an unexpected way. Um, and by the end of the pilot episode, it's implied that others are experiencing uh, the same thing that they are, and not just in voices, but we kind of glimpse at the end of that pilot episode a vision uh, that Michaela has that flash of the plane in her head uh, and so now by, at least by the end of that, that first episode we see that it's both mystifying voices and visions and then uh, in episode two there was a musical kind of thing going on that brought uh, two disparate lives you know together so the voices will continue the visions will continue and they'll continue uh, in surprising ways and one of the kind of fun and mystifying things that, w that we will roll out in series is, is to see how, how uh, how these kind of mystifying voices and visions, the characters start to refer to them as callings in this next episode that's going to be on Monday night. Uh, how these callings are kind of bonding people in unexpected ways. And that's kind of one of the themes of series, intertwining lives being brought together. And so it starts in the pilot with Ben and Michaela, who are siblings, but they're very different. And, 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 and yet they're brought together. And then in episode two, Ben and this guy Rad, who don't know each other, they were just two strangers on an airplane, but they're brought together uh, in, in, in a way that, that leads to an unexpected result. It kind of, you know, is, is filling a gap for both of them in unexpected ways, you know, sometimes quite real and, and practical, other times more esoteric and thematic. And, and we're going to continue to see how these intertwining lives are brought together and that'll happen again in 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 in, in, in the upcoming batch uh, of episodes but also these callings create complications in the emotional lives of our characters so you asked me about Michaela and Jared right so so Michaela and Jared Jared is, is, was her near fiance they were on the verge of being engaged and then everything happened now Michaela is experiencing these callings she works with Jared um, she doesn't want to tell him the truth for reasons that we kind of explicate in series that I won't uh, bog our conversation down with right now, but she has reason to believe that she shouldn't tell Jared about what's going on. Similarly, Ben has reason to believe that he shouldn't tell his wife, Grace, what's going on. It's good. The fact that they are holding on to that secret is going to be incredibly complicated for both of them, and it's going to go sideways uh, for both of them in ways that, that will have huge ramifications. So as I sit here, um, uh, we're just two days away from episode three. In episode four, uh, something really goes sideways for Jared and Michaela uh, that involves you know, one of these callings, Michaela kind of misinterpreting one of the callings. Uh, Jared will end up paying the price for that in a significant way, and it's gonna really tear them apart uh, in a way that, that makes their already complicated relationship even more complicated. And we'll see that with a lot of our characters. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, I was just going to ask that you said that the uh, getting in touch with the other passengers. Yeah, yeah. Will they come on one time and that's it, or will some of these characters come back again? Right. They will come back again. It, it'll de it'll depend, you, you know, on, on the on the story. Uh, uh, there's 191 passengers on this airplane, and it's my intention that over series we'll get to know many of them. Uh, not all of them are necessarily experiencing the, the, these callings. It wasn't all 190 of them who showed up at the end of the pilot episode. But that's not to say that only 20 of them who showed up are experiencing uh, uh, the callings. As we saw at the very end of the pilot, uh, Cal, Ben and Grace's son, his eyes popped open right as the plane exploded. So, uh, and then in episode two, uh, he drew this, this drawing with this kind of mystifying shadow figure that seems to have kind of manifested, again, forgive me, uh, in, in, in a spooky way. Uh, so it seems that Cal is on this journey, even though he didn't show up you know, at the airplane at the end. So, so we're going to get to know lots of these passengers. Sometimes it'll be a one-off. Sometimes it'll be an arc. Sometimes they'll become part of the fabric of the, of the show. Um, I know we can continue to also see um, more of um, kind of what the voices are doing and how. Um, it's also going to continue to be used for good.
the previous thing more about like this um, when they found the kidnapped. Yeah, right. Are we going to see more things? You know, right. So, so what we're going to come to discover is that is that these callings and what they lead our characters to do often lead to a good result until they don't. And, and that's going to kind of fuel this ongoing debate that exists between Ben and Michaela. Ben is a skeptic. Michaela is more of a believer, or at least a lapsed believer, uh, but who's starting to believe again. And, and we're going to keep everyone on their toes by seeing a mix of good and bad results. And as, as, as I kind of indicated uh, earlier in our conversation, we'll see things start to go sideways uh, in episode four. Uh, again in episode uh, six, and, 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 and every time something goes wrong, uh, Ben is going to believe that, that that's reason enough for these visions and voices to be doubted. Who knows where they're coming from? Is there a puppet master behind all of this, leading them down a path, giving them enough good results so that they will kind of fall into line, only for something terrible to happen, you know, when they least expect it? And so that is going to keep them on their on their toes and keep them very circumspect every time a new calling happens. The last thing that I want these characters to do is to just kind of, and Ben, this will be kind of Ben's point of view, uh, the last thing that he will want everybody to do is to fall into a complacency where they believe that they can just kind of blindly follow where they're being led because when they least expect it, it could lead to something really negative with terrible consequences. And so we're going to start to see that dynamic more and more. One last thing. Yeah, yeah. Jair Ramirez. Anything you could tell us interesting that nobody knows about Jair Ramirez? Wow, that's cool. What can I tell you about J.R. Ramirez? I don't know if people know that J.R. Ramirez speaks English as a second language. You know, you wouldn't think that because, you know, there's, there's no accent when you listen to him speak English. But as J.R. has explained to me, uh, when, he, when he reads a script, he kind of reads it in Spanish. Even though he's reading English, he's kind of reading it in Spanish. And, and, and so, you know, he, he, I, think he's, I think that Jared is, is thinking about his, 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 you know, character in Espanol and then translating it to himself in English. And he was telling me uh, when he was speaking with Telemundo the other day, it's so much easier for him to talk about the show in Spanish than it is in English. And he thinks about the show, you, 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 you know, in, in a way that is in a different language that, 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 he, that he, you know, dialogues the show uh, w w when we watch it. And I thought that was kind of cool and that kind of was, cool. was kind of a mind blow for me. So, cool. talented dude. Well, thank you so much.